Our people got to apply the laws of God according to this Bible. Give me Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Because we right here on 63rd and Western. What just happened maybe two weeks ago right here on 63rd and Western? About 11 people just got shot. Right. Gunned down by their own people. Why? Because of this. Read that. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Read. Cry aloud. What did the Lord say? Cry aloud. What did the Lord say? Cry aloud. God said he told us to cry aloud. Cry aloud. That's why we got this speaker out here. Destruction is coming to America. The Lord says cry aloud. Read. Cry aloud. Uh -huh. Spare not. God said don't spare your feelings. God don't care how you feel when we come out here and teach you what you're doing wrong according to this Bible. Right. Read it again. Cry aloud. Read on. Spare not. And we ain't sparing your feelings. We going to teach you thus saith the Lord God. Read. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. That's why we out here speaking loud. A trumpet is very loud. God told us to lift up our voice like a trumpet. Why? Because the Israelites need to hear what's coming out of this Bible. Read. And show my people. What the Lord say? Show my people. Their what? Their transgression. God told us to show the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, show you your transgressions, where you're going off. What you doing wrong right. according to God. Because your pastor is not going to teach you what you're doing wrong. Because when you tell somebody they're doing wrong, they get in their feelings. And the pastor don't want you in, his, in your feelings because he wants your money. Right. The pastor wants your money. So he's not going to teach you what the Bible says. Right. We're going to show you where you're going wrong. Read. In the house of Jacob. In the house of Jacob. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. Their sin. God says, show you your sins. What is sin according to the Bible? How you doing, brother? What's your name? I can't hear you. You blessed? I said, what's your name? My name is Zephaniah. Raymond. I want you to listen to what we bring it out according to this Bible. Because according to the Bible, you're an Israelite. You're God's chosen people. If you was aware, you would be keeping the commandments. Right. Read that. First John chapter 3, verse 4. Watch this. Whosoever committeth sin. God says, whosoever commits, meaning whosoever does sin. Come on. Whosoever committeth sin. Transgressive also the law. God said whosoever commits sins, transgress, meaning break God's laws. Right. So if you're in the midst of sin, your pastor never taught you what sin was. We ask you, what, what is sin? You say, doing anything uh, outside of what God wants you to do. What is, what is it that God don't want you to do? He don't want you to break his law. Right. Read. For sin is a transgression of the law. So the definition of sin is... Is when you break God's laws. Right. You break God's laws. And the Israelites is breaking God's commandments. Break it out. The Israelites is breaking God's commandments. Give me hatred in, in first John. Give me that real quick. First John chapter 3, verse 15. Read. Whosoever hated his brother. Whosoever hated his brother. Whosoever hated his brother. Is a what? Is a murderer. Is a murderer. Why did God say if you hate your brother, you a murderer? Because anybody that hates you will not tell you what you're doing wrong to save your life. Bring it up. Because that's what your brother's supposed to do. But if I hate you, you think I'm going to tell you not to put that dope, that needle in your arm? Hell no, I'm going to let you do it. You think I'm going to tell you not to prostitute yourself? If I love you, hatred is when you sell drugs to your people. Hatred is when you do a drive-by and shoot 10 people on 63rd and West. Right. That's hatred. That ain't love. Hatred is when you have sex with a woman and you're not married to her. Right. And then you have kids by her and leave your kids and don't raise them. Bring it up. Now our kids is growing up in gangs because they're confused. They're looking for love in all the wrong places. Right. Because they don't got a father. Read it again. Whosoever hated his brother... Is a murderer. A lot of you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are murderers because you deal with hatred, gang violence, drugs, prostitution, brothers not taking care of their kids, right. women teaching their daughters how to twerk instead of teaching them how, instead of teaching them their ABCs. Right. This is some wickedness that's going on amongst our people. Teach. Read. Read it again. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. Read. And ye know. That no murderer have eternal life abiding in hell. So God says no murderer is going to make it into the kingdom of hell. Right. No murderer have eternal life abiding in hell. Because a lot of our people might wonder, why are we going through all the things that we are going through today? Why are we in poverty? Why 
while we have to be in the projects, while we in the ghettos, while we in the slums, while we get shot down in the streets by the police, right. while we get shot down in the streets by each other, right. while we can't come together as a people, huh? Why? Give me a hotel, four and six. Because hatred. The Israelites have hatred in their heart for their own people. This the problem. So it's a game. Give me a uh, get ready. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So I just asked a question or made a statement that's on a lot of our people's minds. Our people wonder why we at the bottom. Why we in the ghetto? Why we get shot down? Why we in the slums? Right. Yeah. Watch this. Read it again. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. God says the Israelites are in these conditions because they lack the knowledge of God. Give me the knowledge. Malachi, chapter 1, chapter 2, and verse 7. We're going to find out what knowledge we lack. Read. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. Read it again. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So the priest, your pastor, your deacon, your reverend, it says his lips should keep knowledge. Yes, Lord. Read. And they should seek the law. What's the knowledge? The law. What's the knowledge? The law. Read. At his mouth. The, the, the laws of God should be coming out of your pastor's mouth. That's what, your, that's what your pastor should be teaching you. That's the knowledge that God say we are destroyed because we don't know it. Right. Watch this. Read on. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. Your pastor supposed to be the messenger of God. Right. So that messenger supposed to be teaching you God's commandments. Right. Supposed to be teaching you God's laws. Go back to that scripture, Hosea. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So God's people, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the Israelites, you are God's people. Yes, Everybody is not God's people. Give me Matthew chapter 2, verse 6. The book of Matthew, chapter 2, verse 6. I say everybody is not God's people, and we're going to prove it in the New Testament. Read. And now Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor. That's Christ, read. That shall rule my people. That shall rule my people. Israel. Who is God's people? Israel. Everybody is not God's people. Right. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are God's people. Right. You are destroyed because you lack the knowledge. Go back. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. Read. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Because you reject the laws of God. I will also reject thee. God says he's going to reject us. So you wonder why we're in the condition that we're in today? God has turned his back on you blacks and Hispanics. Right. That's why Trump said, I'm going to build a wall to keep the Mexicans out of a land that was there. Right. That's why you are destroyed. That's why you are going through the hell that you're going through today. Because God has turned his back on the Israelites. Right. He turned his back on us because we reject knowledge. Give me Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7. Let's see what God says about someone that rejects knowledge. How do God feel about a person that rejects the laws of God, that we try to teach y'all, right. to help y'all build up our community? Read that. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of God, meaning when you read this Bible, it's laws here that we got to keep. Right? So if you fear God, you got to say, you know what, I'm not going to do this. Because if I do this, it's a judgment coming behind me. That's fear of God. Read. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. What did God call them? But fools despise wisdom and instruction. God says only a fool despise wisdom and instruction. How you doing, sis? Right here. The back. Come here real quick. I want to show you something. Come here. I want to show you. This knowledge is the best knowledge you're going to learn in right. your life. Nobody else is going to teach you this. Read it again. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. God say you're a fool if you despise, if you hate wisdom and instruction. The instructions is God's law. You used right. to scream black power.
while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.